Hey, it's Ox dear, Luke here, and I have a small problem. When I connect my phone to a CarPlay device, it will always send the audio through CarPlay and not through to another audio output. Now, when I say audio output, this can be the car's radio. It can be a Bluetooth speaker. It can even be a pair of earphones. It really doesn't matter. But the point being is I want all the CarPlay interface to remain intact, but I want the audio to go elsewhere. Well, I'm gonna show you in this video how to do that automatically. So you get into your car, it connects to here with all your maps and your music and everything, but all the audio gets sent to your car's radio. Now, all we need to do to make sure this works fine is firstly be on location with the devices that you wanna do it with. So the, that's important because these need to be connected to your phone. So firstly, I'm going to just be connecting it, for example, to this little Bluetooth speaker. And the first thing I want to do is make sure that's turned on and make sure my phone is connected to it. So I'm just going to swipe up onto the home screen. I'm going to go to the settings application and then go to Bluetooth. And we want to make sure we're connected to whatever device you want the audio to go to. So in this case, JBL Go 3, which is this little device here. With that in mind, let's do a small test to make sure we can actually pass the audio from one to another. Well, it's actually quite simple. So let's say if we're playing it here, we're gonna, we're gonna hear the audio come through here. We can see it's coming through CarPlay anyway. So we're playing a bit of music through here. We don't want that. Now we can manually alter this by swiping down from the top, clicking the CarPlay logo, and going to JBL Go 3. And the audio will be transferred to here. But every time I get back into my car, it's gonna default to CarPlay. Well. Let's show you how to automate that. To get this to automatically work, we're going to swipe up back to the home screen and go to the Shortcuts app. So type in Shortcuts and click on that. And at the top right, we've got a little plus. And all we need to do is click Add Action, search for Apps and Actions, and I'm just gonna type in Playback. And if we swipe down, we're gonna see Change Playback Destination. And what that's going to allow us to do is essentially set it to, uh, to go to a particular output. So in this case, we're gonna to go to JBL Go 3. Now this is important why you need to be on location because for example, if I open my earphones up now, we're gonna see that an extra option comes up. So we need to make sure that the device is connected to have the option. So we'll give one second and we'll see Open Rock also appear. So with the, all the devices connected, we're actually gonna click uh, JBL Go 3. And it's gonna call itself Change Playback Destination. You can rename this if you want to, but I'm gonna use this name and I'm just gonna click Done. And you see we've got this shortcut here. Now, I just wanna show you how this works. So I'm just gonna change my audio output back to CarPlay. And first you show you the proof. So if I actually just play this through here, and now I click Change Playback Destination, See, it's actually sent the audio through to this speaker, which is really, really cool. But it's still not automated. Even though we've got it down to one click, we still need to do a bit more work. The next one is we want to set a trigger. So we've got the action, but we need a trigger. And to do the trigger, we go to automation at the bottom. And again, we're gonna click the plus in the top right. And this is where we can set a trigger. Now we wanna use CarPlay. So it's gonna say when the phone connects to CarPlay, and we're gonna run immediately because I don't want this to, uh, to notify me. I just want it to do it without my knowledge. I'm gonna click run immediately, keep notif notified when run off, click next. And then we can tell it to use a shortcut. So I've got my shortcuts to what I've just created, which is change playback destination. So when CarPlay connects, change playback destination to this. Now let's try it out. I'm gonna firstly, Disconnect this. I'm also going to disconnect CarPlay. Let's boot this up from the start. I'm going to see how exactly how this works. So imagine we've just gone to our car. We've, we've turned the car on. CarPlay's booting up. Bluetooth speaker. Oh, audio output is uh, is also connected. We give it a second. Now this will boot into CarPlay. And we will see that the audio will be routed now directly through here, even though CarPlay will work absolutely fine. So here we go, back into CarPlay straight away. I'm just gonna start a click and play and we'll hear the audio come through here. Ta-da! <laughs> it's as simple as that. 
Every time you get into the car now, you're not going to know what's going to happen. It's just going to root over here or to your headphones, wherever you want. And it's as simple as that. So uh, if this is useful to you, you know what to do. Just hit that subscribe button and like, or leave a comment down below. But anyway, thank you for watching. See you soon. And as always, take care.